हेलो 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 तो कैसे हैं आप लोग बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ माय हेल्थ इज अ बेड डाउन सो दैट एनर्जी एंड स्टफ माइट नॉट बी एज लाइक प्रीवियस वीडियोस बट आई विल ट्राई टू कीप इट इंटैक्ट सो या विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम इटसेल्फ द प्रॉब्लम इज प्रिटी स्टैंडर्ड एंड सिंपल वी हैव टू टेल इफ द ग्राफ इज बाय पर टाइट और नॉट cool uh firstly let's see what the problem is saying is there something different which the problem is trying to tell us or not uh so we have a undirected graph with n nodes where every node is from 0 to n minus 1 and simple it is given in the form of a adjacency list that is simple you know that a node and all its neighbors are given cool a graph is called as bipartite if the nodes can be partitioned into two independent sets a and b we will use this use them as colors which means blue and red and then uh, such that every edge in the graph connects a node in the set a and a node in the set b we will see okay, what this is exactly means but it is that okay if a graph node starts with a blue color so basically we have to uh, if like differentiate them in the set a and set b so for that okay we will have okay blue color and a red color so blue color should connect a red color and every red color should connect a blue color that is it what we have to do to make a graph bipartite and we have to return if the graph is bipartite or we have to return false if the graph is not a bipartite graph cool uh, let's firstly see a few basic bit examples so you will see i will start with the first node i will color this node as blue now all the adjacent nodes need to color as red so i'll just color all the adjacent nodes as red now for this red next node all its adjacent nodes needs to be colored as blue so okay blue is colored but if you will see that this adjacent red if it is red its adjacent should be colored as blue blue while you saw that in the last step it was colored as red so it is kind of okay it needs to be colored as red also and blue also that is not possible thus this graph is not a bipartite graph which means every blue node should have a red neighbor and every red node should have a blue neighbor but it is not following that because it is saying okay this node should be also blue and should also be red which is not possible at all thus it is it is not a bipartite graph while in the next example we have this blue node neighbors are in red cool this red node neighbors are blue cool this red node neighbors are blue cool this blue node like neighbors are red cool this graph is a bipartite graph thus it is as simple as that we have to just start coloring from a node and just check okay if this graph is following that coloring scheme or not if it is following then i am good if it is not then i'm not good which means we have to color this graph in two simple colors because we have to put them in two sets a and b so for that i just name them as colors uh we can also use an actual set to put the nodes but it is a bit complex like that and complexity is bit high because you have to every time search in that set if that node is there or not in coloring again you can just say okay is the node which i am right now is that colored with the color blue or red or not so uh it's actually good if you use simple array of colors rather than the set a and set b cool um now cool i will just use these two colors to get the bipartite now i just mentioned every blue blue node should have the neighbor as a red node and every red node should have a neighbor as a blue node that is the main 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 part which we have to do in this problem now as we start the coloring we will just check okay firstly if i am at the blue node then i will color my neighbors as a red and then from the red i will just color my neighbors again as blue and i'll just see okay if it is actually possible to actually color all the nodes differently which means okay it should not be the case that a same node is trying to be colored as blue and red if it is the case then i'll just say okay it is true and if it is not then i'll re simply return a false so just by saying okay the graph is hypertext on graph as and 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 um as we have to color the entire graph which means we have to go on the entire graph to color it and we know how to uh, color the graph which means if you are signing at the node mark it as blue mark your neighbors as red and then blue the red blue red blue red like this so basically it is like kind of traversing the entire graph right so traverse the entire graph which means it's a complete graph traversal thing so i can use a bfs or a dfs you will see both of them but bfs is more intuitive as in okay i am sending a note i'll just as we saw here also that what we may, what we how we dry run the same example was via a bfs you saw how because you are standing at a blue node then you try to color all your adjacent nodes by what 
by red you saw red 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 and then when you're standing at the red node next then you try to color your adjacent node as blue so it is like okay you are going on to every of the adjacent nodes which means the breadth wise does bfs is more intuitive but for sure as it's a simple traversal i can use both bfs and dfs right so basically how we will uh, do the coloring simply we also need to make sure that in bfs or dfs we also need to have a visited and we also saw earlier that we for sure also need to have the coloring as blue or red so we have both the things visited also and the coloring as blue or red so why not uh, the coloring can be anything right so why not in my coloring area itself i just take one more variable let's say if the color is a zero then if it is uncolored which means it is not visited if the color is one it is blue because blue and red i wanted and if the color is minus one then it is a simple uh, red color now why i took one and minus one you can also grab it as uh, any number one or two but then why it i grab this one and minus one is because to convert from blue to red i just need to do a minus one and i'll just get the uh, red which means if i am at one i'll just do a minus negative of whatsoever number is there then i will get a minus one which is actually a red so from blue i can go to a neighbor which means okay from blue if i am going on to the next like to, to the next node i'll just say okay if i am one i should be going on to the negative of my number which is minus one so i'm going to this then if i am at minus one then i go to the negative of my number which is minus of minus one which is actually a one so it will become easier to actually go on to neighbors it's the only reason i took as one and minus one you can take any colors one two one four any number you can take but it is just make sure that okay you have to write a bit code more to actually go from one state to an an another state now uh visited is actually zero to actually tell okay if it is visited or not visited cool now we'll just simply do a bfs traversal as that we can solve it via both bfs and dfs so for sure we will try both uh let's firstly start to understand the concept by a simple bfs traversal as simple as that you start with the first node you you mark this color as a blue which is one color now in bfs you just go on to all the nodes which are adjacent you mark all the nodes as red as simple as that then okay all the nodes are colored then you go, move on to the next node okay because it's a simple bfs traversal so all these nodes are in the queue right queue it is in the queue now as it is going to visit it then i'll check okay is because it can't go to all these neighbors it's already visited but it will actually firstly also check right although it won't go into the queue but it will still check is the neighbors whatsoever i had are they actually of different color than me which means if i am red are they blue or not it is not a blue so the bfs will return a false right understand one thing we are traversing the graph and as the graph is being traversed i am pushing that node in the queue so from this node blue the queue is being started and as this node is being pushed in the queue it will just pop out from the queue and will push all the neighbors in the queue and then it will just pop out and then it will try to push the neighbors but for sure it can't push the neighbors but also before pushing i also check before pushing i also check that uh, the neighbors are actually of different color than me and it is not the case so it will return a false now on the other example which we have in the question it will start from this node push that in the queue then it will push the other neighbors in the queue because for sure these two nodes are the only neighbors then from this node it will just try and see okay is this node um of this different color than me yeah it is and is this not visited okay it is visited so i will not push that in my queue but i will just go and see okay is this node also a neighbor of me but it is not visited so i will just put this as a blue color and i push that in the queue okay, when it gets popped out from the queue it will just check the neighbors both are good cool no worries when it is gonna pop out from the queue it will just check both the neighbors and it is good so that is how we can actually gonna check while doing a bfs traversal and not visiting the same node again and again right cool um let's see the code particularly it's very 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 simple firstly i just have that color to just grab the color of that node then i just went on to all the nodes because you saw in the question that the graph can be unconnected which means non-connected which means the graph can have multiple small components and it can be possible that one component is bipartite so for that reason one component is bipartite or like one component is not bipartite for that reason i have traversed the entire graph to check okay if one component is bipartite or not like is not bipartite or not cool uh, and then i will just go on to 
every node because I'm starting with this node. Firstly, if this node is for sure not colored, which means it is not visited. If it is colored, that it means it is visited. So I will not go on to it, right? It is not the queue I'm checking. Okay, it is not in the same queue right now, which means if this is, if we are starting from this node blue, then all the nodes will be colored via in the BFS traversal of this particular node, which means yet as soon as, as soon as I started from the node zero, all the nodes neighbors which means all this entire graph will be entirely traversed in this one in this one traversal right here right cool um then what i will do is i will just simply go and check um that firstly grabbing the first node and then marking that node color as one which is the blue color then i will just go on and do the i'll just go on and do the entire BFS traversal, which means grabbing the front element from the queue and then going on to all the neighbors. Now, as I go on to the neighbors, first I need to check if that neighbor is not visited yet, then good, very good. Just mark the color of the neighbor as opposite to my color, opposite to my color, my color is I am current, opposite to my color and just push that neighbor in the queue. But, but, but if that, if that, if that, if that neighbor is already colored, which means it is not a zero, which means it is already visited. So it should have, the neighbor should have the color opposite of me, which means minus of me, it should have, the neighbor should have minus of me color. If it is not having, oh God, oh God, you are done. Return of false. If it is not having the opposite of color of me, then return of false. Else, if the entire graph is traversed, everything looks fine, everything looks good, everything works fine, which means every of the component is actually a bipartite graph, I can return a true. If even one component is not bipartite, I have to return a false. That is by simple BFS, we can do this traversal. We will see the complexity at the last, uh, but just quickly look on to, okay, how the DFS traversal can have this question being solved. Um, it's also pretty simple. Uh, if firstly we start from the node now in the DFS traversal, we go depth wise, right? So I will just start from this node. Then I'll just color this next node as red, then the next node as blue. Now from this node, actually like it has to go from here and here also, but for sure it will just go on in the next iteration. But meanwhile, what it will do is as it is landing onto here it will again have two options go on go on here and here it just, let's say it just goes on top and then it will color this node as red it will just go and see okay it is visited and also visited opposite color of me it is visited cool no worries we have to return back but also visited but opposite color of me cool now it is returning back which means this is done now again this blue had one option left which is to go diagonally at this point but as it goes on then it will just say you should be visited okay you are visited i have no problem with that but you should be visited opposite color of me so you should be visited red actually but you are actually visited blue it is not wrong it is not right so you are wrong this graph is not bipartite at all thus let's see the next example blue then it goes on to red then it goes on to blue then it goes on to red again and as it moves on to the like next blue it will just say okay i am visited and i am visited also opposite color of you so cool you are good to go and this graph is entirely visited and has no false condition being written because none of them um uh, return the false so yeah it is actually a true thus simply what we will do exactly the same uh, firstly i will just have the same color thing to actually say okay if it is zero then it is unvisited if it is one then it's a blue color if it's a minus one then it's a red color then i'll just go on to every of those nodes because i want to traverse entire component so it is just okay going on to every node to actually traverse entire component and now firstly i will just see okay if that node if that node is already not visited if it is visited then you should continue if it is not visited which means if the color is zero and also if the graph coloring is not valid it's a simple dfs call which is being made to this node with the color as one okay i will start with my coloring as one which is a blue color and i'm just going on with this node and if in maybe if just if it returns if this thing returns a false which means that's not a that's not a valid coloring so the entire thing will become a true so true if it is not visited true true and true will become a true and it will just go on to this condition which is false so basically if it is a valid coloring then it will return a true which will make this as a false but if it is not a valid coloring 
so it will it it will be false which will make the not of false as true so if it is not a valid coloring it will return a false and ultimately for entire all the components if it's a valid coloring then it will return a true now how to see this valid uh, valid coloring uh, dfs call simple dfs call simply i just am starting from this node with this color so node is this node and the color is for sure starting with one initially then i will just check okay if this node is already not visited okay if it is not visited I, I will just go on but if it is already visited which means the color of the node is not zero if it is not zero which means it is either one or minus one which means it is already visited okay if it is visited then it should have the color as what i'm expecting it is the color i'm expecting right now right because i'll just pass my neighbor color should have these color so it is the color which i'm expecting right now i'll just show this part again as i move on to the neighbor recursive call but it is the color i'm ex expecting right now so the color of my node should be this color exactly if it is the case you are good to return a true but if it is not the case you have to return a false which means it will it won't be a valid coloring now okay if it is not visited cool then you will visit it which means you will mark this color of your node as this color because it was the expected color it should have so because if i am landing at this color so it is the expected color it should have which means this node should have this color so it is the expected color it will just mark this color as me okay now my color is this call of this node now for sure i will just go on to every of these neighbors and just do a recursive call and just check for the same thing that for sure is the coloring valid or not which means i will just go on to my neighbor and say hey your color should actually be minus of my color my color was called your color should be minus of color so in the next iteration i am saying hey neighbor hey neighbor hey neighbor your color should be minus call thus i am just right now here checking that okay hey node which means this this name like the neighbor should actually be a node right now because it is being overridden right here this neighbor becomes a node so i am saying okay hey node your color should be this color which is being expected so basically as a parent i am passing to my child okay hey child or hey neighbor your color should be minus of my color now here i will check okay if it is already visited then i will check is your color minus of my color which is the color i passed is is your color actually the color i passed if it is the case you are good you are true but if it is not the case you have to return a false that is how i will check okay if the color is coloring scheme is valid or not thus ultimately it will just go and check for all the neighbors and if by any chance the coloring is not valid so it will just return a false and if the coloring is valid entirely it will return a true and that is how ultimately you will also return a true thus the complexity is nothing but o of v plus e because simple bfs and TFS traversal takes O of V plus E, which means going on to every vertices and every edges. And space rules also O of V because of simple graph coloring, which we took as 0, 1, and 2 are the values. So it is as simple as that. Uh, we took an array of size V. Now, the code of BFS of C, Java, and Python, and also DFS of C, Java, and Python is down below. I hope that you guys liked it. If you're the new library, you're going to take care.